In this video, we're going to show you how to hook up an over-the-air television antenna to an older style cathode ray tube television. These tubes are easily identified because on the back side they have this very large bulky box. For this project to work, you need several items. Of course, you need a television, a cathode ray television, the old style. You need a digital set-top box looks something like this. You can purchase it at a local retailer. You can purchase it online. You need the remote control for the digital tuner and make sure you have good working batteries. You need two pieces of coax. One piece of coax connects to the back of the television which we're going to show you how to do. The other piece of coax connects the antenna to the digital over-the-air tuner. You also need the remote control that comes with your television and make sure it has good working batteries as well. Do not worry about the color of the wire. The wire color does not have any bearing whatsoever. It just needs to have the coaxial connection on the end. I flipped the television around so you can see the back side. I want to show you where to connect one of those coaxial cables. It's connected right there. But just to show you I'm going to unconnect it real quick and it's real easy to spin it off. So you want to connect one of your coaxial cables to that coaxial input on the back of your TV. You want to tighten it until it's snug. The next thing you want to do is take your uh, digital over-the-air tuner that you bought at a local retailer or online, turn around to the back side. Now you'll notice in this particular situation, although you probably can't read it on your screen, there are two connectors. Each one is labeled. Uh, one is labeled antenna in and one is labeled antenna out. So we're going to take that coax that we hooked up to the antenna and connect it to the antenna out because the signal is going from the digital tuner into the TV so we're using the output. Make sure that's snug. Next, take that second piece of coax that you have and your antenna, which I'm showing you the back side of an antenna, and you'll see the connector on the antenna, the uh, coaxial connector. And simply take that coax, and in this case it's a slip-on. Normally it's a spin-on, but it's a slip-on. They both work the same. And snugly fit that coax to that terminal. Okay, the last wiring connection we want to make is the coaxial cable that comes from the antenna to the antenna in input on the back of the digital tuner. Slip it on so it's snug. I turn the television and the antenna back around to face the camera. You want to make sure you plug in both the antenna set-top box and the television and only do this when it's not storming outside because you don't want to endanger yourself. Take the remote control for the over-the-air box, turn it on with the power button. You see the power light flashing. Take the TV remote with the power button and turn it on. I guess I'm working with dead batteries. and we immediately get snow and in this case it says that it's on cable channel 5. I'm going to change the television channel to 3 because the television needs to be on the correct channel to receive the digital tuner signal. Okay, it looks like the digital tuner already scanned for channels. Uh, in many cases this is not what you're going to experience when you perform this. I'm going to show you right now what you're going to experience 
when you perform this task with a brand new unit out of the box. Okay, using the remote control for the tuner, the set-top box, I'm going to go into the menu. In this case, I'm going to press the setup button. Now, your particular device that you buy might have a button labeled menu. It might not be labeled setup. My remote, it's labeled setup, so I'm going to press that. It gives me a menu. Now, I see the word auto scan, and I want to get to that because I want to do what's called a scan for channels. So I'm going to press the right arrow key on my particular remote, which again is the remote for the set-top box, and now I'm going to press the down arrow to auto scan, and then on my remote I have a button called OK. Uh, you might not have the OK button on your remote depending on the brand and make that you buy, but it would be a button that allows you to select auto scan. So I'm going to press OK, Now it says it's going to rescan all the channels and it may take some time, which it does take some time. And by the way, if you haven't realized, I pulled the antenna up. In other words, the antenna is out. And this is kind of an omnidirectional antenna, which means you can kind of sort of face it any direction you want. Um, if you are able to face it in the direction of your broadcaster, then you might pick up more channels. Um, you can visit the website. There's a article that's called Over the Air Antenna. That'll tell you a little bit more about where the broadcasters are located and how you can find them and things of that effect. So let's start the auto scan. I'm going to press the down arrow button, press OK. And uh, we're immediately at, well, 10, 11 percent. So I'm going to stop the video to save some time and come right back. Okay, the channel scan is complete. You see a little bit of pixelation there. And the reason that you saw that pixelation could be for a variety of reasons. One reason would be uh, if the broadcaster is too far away from your tuner and your antenna, then you'll experience pixelation. And that pixelation is a result of the fact that the broadcast is digital. And that's why you need this special digital tuner. This old TV has an analog tuner in it, so it, it, it can't process a digital signal. You have to put this tuner in. Uh, pixelation can also come as a result of uh, how the sun is uh, lined up. Sometimes the sun, and this is very rare, sometimes the sun will block the signal that's broadcast uh, from uh, some broadcasters. Like I said, it's extremely rare, but mostly it's the uh, distance of the broadcaster from your antenna. And you can get better antennas. This is a little inexpensive rabbit ear antenna. And the nice thing about having an antenna set up, if you would like to get some free channels, you, you might only receive two or three channels. And in some cases, if you're in larger cities or closer to broadcasters, you might receive as many as 10, 15, or 20 channels. So if your normal television service, whether it's cable or uh, through the telephone lines today or through the satellite, if those broadcasters go down and it's an emergency type situation, you can typically pull this antenna out and set it up on a flat screen, which we put another article up and a video on how to set this up on a flat screen because the process is a little bit different. Um, so in emergencies, the antenna is beneficial. If you'd like to get free television, the antenna and the digital tuner are beneficial. And by the way, that tuner box, it runs roughly $15 to $30, depending on where you buy it. And they're all pretty much the same. In other words, you just plug it into the wall receptacle, hook up the coaxial cable, turn it on, scan for channels, and then uh, you control your channels with the set-top box remote. But one other reason that somebody might want this type of scenario is if they camp a lot. A lot of campers and RVers have televisions and they're moving around a lot and this digital tuner is really great if their RV has an older television or if they're taking an older television with them 
they can scan for channels. And once again, if you go over to the website, uh, the article, the link is right below this video. Uh, it'll tell you a little bit more, and there's a link to where you can find the broadcasters, how far away they are, what type of antennas are best for you know the distance of the broadcasters and things of that effect. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, visit the website. Thank you. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com. For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video.